Hey guys, Kronos back again, and back in another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. To be perfectly honest, this video may not even see the light of day. Um, the reason I'm starting it right here specifically is on my way back down to uh, New Londo Ruins to do this run, um, I noticed that our little crestfallen bro has gone. And the reason I didn't kill him at the beginning is because I wanted to show off a little thing he does. So I guess I will be uploading this video no matter what happens. Um, what I'll do instead is I'll try to make the run legitimately, see if I can actually um, get some drops. Uh, do I want to do this? I've been debating whether or not I want to actually um, keep the whole two-handed thing working for farming or just for actually running through the zone. I'll try it once, doing the whole dual wield thing, and if it fails, I'm probably going to be using a shield only because this isn't actually part of the run, this is just a farming run. I don't really count it. <laughs> That's just me personally, and these guys I should not be fighting at this level. They are ridiculously more difficult to deal with. Anyway, so we should come across the Crestfallen Knight relatively soon. Do I have my... Yes, got the binos. <laughs> Let's see if we can see him off in the distance here. Oh, we can't. I don't see him anywhere. That's okay. We should come across him. Oh! Wait a second, was he... Did I just not notice him? No, he just, he, he disappears. You get close enough, he resets. Look, look, you guys can see him right there. That's weird. Anyway. So there's our quest, Crestfallen Bro. He decided he was going to do something about it, so he went into New Londa Ruins mistakenly. And got himself killed. So he is now hollowed. Not going to work, man. I said I would use both weapons, I promised I did. So he's dead, and you just get like a thousand souls off of killing him. No real big deal at all. But that's what happens to him. That's the end of the Crestfallen Knight. I do believe that's Crestfallen. Yeah, he doesn't have a Crest, so he's gotta be the Crestfallen Knight. So there lies the end of Crestfallen, bro. And I may have screwed this zone up, because I don't have any, uh, the cursed things. I use both of them. I think you can find some over here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and head down here, guys. This part's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna do the full farming run. I'm just gonna head straight for that weapon. Only because it's a pain in the to get but let's kill this guy first because in case we get backed up I don't want to end up with two of these guys to fight okay let's see if I can get him to his attack got it hit him with my own wombo combo <laughs> he didn't drop anything scrub we're not going to pop a humanity, only because death is so imminent in this zone. Yeah. 300 item finds good enough for now. We just need to get these guys to come out here. And survival is a must. Come on. Come on. Nope. Oh, there's the combo I was talking about. If I get caught in that, I'm dead. Okay, new plan. Don't try to parry these guys. Try to get the backstab. <laughs> and we're back at Sen's Fortress again. <sighs> and this is what I was afraid of. That's alright, guys. We're gonna stick to the dual wheel thing for the moment. I'll give it two shots instead of one. Even though I damn near got two shotted. Who knows? Maybe I'll uh, pop off a power with him to increase my damage. That might help. And it used to be worse in uh, the console version of this game before the patch came out for it. Power Within used to do more damage to you. Um, the more intense, or the better the pyromancy thing was. 
So the more powerful your pyromancy is going with, the way the damage calculation would work, it would actually deal more damage to you. It wouldn't give you more attack damage, but it would still deal more damage to your um, to your health. So most players had to run around two pyromancy flames to swap between them. And they were using the uh, when you would use the power within, you'd have the unupgraded pyromancy flame, and then when you'd use your other attacks, you'd have your upgraded pyromancy flame. It was kind of annoying. I'm glad they fixed it. Because keeping two pyromancy flames is just too much. So I just never used power within before that. I always like to have my pyromancy back up just in case I had like someone who's turtling or something like that. Speaking of turtling, in Sense Fortress, I will be picking up a weapon that is basically my anti-turtle weapon. Which is another weapon we need to update. Upgrade. Damn. <laughs> now that I think about it. And I totally did not reset my counter, but that's fine. I just saw it was about 36 minutes, so... It's not too bad. Let's see, let's run down here. Let's try this a second time with a little less suck. <laughs> <sighs> this is always the part that's annoying, is getting all of your stuff together for what you need to actually play through. After you have the entire build together, the game's much more fun, but getting your build together. That's the fun part. That's the most annoying part. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Is he aggro? No, he's not aggro yet. Okay, so let's drink up. We're going to pop a power within. And you know what? We're going to try to bait him into an attack for the backstab. Oh! Gotcha. There we go. So now we have enough space to fight the next guy. And he will probably aggro. Just make a little bit of noise. Come on. Hey, dude. There we go. I'm taking a lot of damage just because I have such low health. I'm really quiet, guys. Sorry, just trying to concentrate. I really don't feel like dying again. Quick. Gotcha. I swear I hear another one with the shield up. That's weird. Anyway, we've only got to get through a couple. M oh, crap. We have to get through a couple more, but that thing. Okay, new plan. Suicide run. Thank you, poise. Oh, the power within's gonna kill me if I don't heal. Roll. 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 Make the run. <laughs> okay, you guys, what you're basically doing is running past that guy, going up here and running over here. I know I wanted to show this off, but I'm too busy running for my life to actually think about where I'm going. Just follow this corridor all the way around. And up. Turn. And there's what we're looking for here. And he followed me all the way up here. No, I never get that. Right to parry. Oh, you jerk. Oh, no. If he gets that hit, he steals your humanity. Not that I have any steal. Gotta make sure to parry that earlier, and I'll actually get the hit. Alright, so we managed to get the very large ember, which is great. It's probably one of the most annoying parts of this entire run is to get that ember. You know what? I should be able to take care of the rest. Should be able to is the keyword, guys. If it actually happens, it'd be surprising. Wait a second. I think I can see him off in the distance there. Let's see here. 
let's roll down here. Maybe we'll get a little farming, and I haven't actually found any of these things. I need a couple of them. Oh my god, that attack. Oh, that thing. I feel like you're weak to fire. Let's see if I can get you to come out here. And actually... Attach some of these. And we will do this. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, damage. This is not my best work ever. I can actually pay attention to what he's doing in the animations. Oh, roll that. Okay. That guy actually doesn't ever come back after you kill him, which is good. But I still haven't found any of my large Titanites. Or my Titanite chunks. Circle backstab. <laughs> there we go. You're dead. And you still aren't dropping any chunks. Quit being a scum. Give me the chunks I need. Alright, well, there's another one of those big things out there, too. And I know there's a couple item drops of normal chunks. I don't think I have any yet. I have one. I have one tiny chunk. I need, I think, like eight. I have twelve thousand souls. I really don't want to lose these souls. It's always good to have a bow to pull enemies. You don't want to deal with them in an area that they're in. Let's see. I gotta remember, that's got a longer parry animation, so I have more time. Oh, fuck. So he's turned. <laughs> I don't know why I did the R2 there. I meant to do my, or the um, left trigger there. I meant to do the right trigger. Let's walk across here. And this should be a Titanite chunk as well. I am wearing this ring, right? Yeah, I'm wearing Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, but I'm not getting any of these drops, man. It's really annoying. Let's see what this is. This is a large crown knight. And these are actually dark rates of Mulando. Um, which you can kind of get the correct red orb from there. They, um, the dark wraith coven is actually known for invading other players, um, this is where you'll find the Dark Wraith Covenant. I've got to remember, I'm doing PvE, I don't have to lead it too much. I'm used to PvP parry timing, so. That is a thought process, I should be able to take these guys out relatively easy. Just have to remember my timing, and not be dumb. Let's go around this way. This is not the normal farming run, actually. I'm going literally backwards from my normal farming run. Okay. Let's go back and actually go the right way. But, um, yeah, the Dark Wraiths. Anyway, so these Dark Wraiths, um, the Dark Wraith Covenant is led by the Dark Serpent Kathe, or Kath, is what he's called. Let's see if I can get attention of one of these Dark Wraiths to come out here. Yeah. If you have King Seaver Frampt, and, oh my god, no, bad day. So this is almost an immediate death, guys. Um, let's see if I can leave this guy out a little bit more. Right, get you a backstab animation. Okay, cool. Right down to one Estus Flask. Can I get a second one? Nope. Just 
wait for an opening. Don't push it. New plan? Divide and conquer. Or drop myself off a cliff. Oh, that's 14,000 souls. I need to get those. Yeah. So bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and give him this, uh, this ember and upgrade my weapon twice. I'll do a little bit more damage. What's up, dude? in the trade that might be the finest really how's about it you leave that ember with me i'm just an old smith i'd give my left arm for a gem like that uh sure why not dude well thank you mightily for that now just leave the rest to me andre of astora gets the job done you shall see Ah, Andre, you're so awesome. Well, we need some souls well, to upgrade the weapon. Be careful. So let's crunch a couple soul items that I have lying around. So Actually, that should be enough. Well, you need any. Let's go ahead and reinforce this. No, we actually have to modify it to get it to go to plus 11. And then reinforce it. To get a plus 12. So I'll need two after that. So now it's at plus 12. Should do some more damage. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Yep. So that puts it from where it was before to 273. Was it like 260 something beforehand? Not too bad. Um, let's, 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 let's. Let's go get our souls at least. Try to see if we can get some more um, more chunks. I'm not going to subject you guys to any more running around dark wraith farming and whatnot. I'm probably just going to go ahead and slap on a shield really quick and back backstab a couple dark wraiths. See if I can get rid of them really quickly. See if I can get enough of them. Um, well, maybe... There's not a way out of there that I know of. Because I could go after the Titanite slab, but my weapon at plus 15. But let's let's go see if I can get some of these chunks really quick. I've got the right ring on. I should be able to. You know what? I'm gonna break it just this once, guys, to actually take care of this. Let's go ahead and slap on our awesome looking shield really quick. And give me some stamina regen. And Let's see if we can get these Dark Wraiths to drop a freaking Titanite chunk or a couple. Because we really need them. And there's one in a chest back there behind that big blob monster. <sighs> yeah. No big deal at all. How long has this movie been going on for? Not too long. Take a bite of our Pop-Tart. Smorgs Pop Tarts are the best. <laughs> Not really, I like a lot. I like them and chocolate Pop Tarts a lot. The chocolate chip ones. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more Titanite chunks. Because farming Dark Wraiths is a pain in the neck at this level. They just do so much damage, it's annoying. You know what? Did I put my. Okay, my strength is not going to go higher than. Really, it doesn't even go any higher at all. I'm not going to raise my strength anymore until, like, the end of my build, but I'll probably start pumping a lot of dexterity at this point, just because it's going to increase the damage of our weapon. Which will make this a little easier. Let's go ahead and pick up our 42,000 souls, aggro you. And just circle around casually for a backstab. Make you get up. Come on. Do this the safe way. He 
see how much a shield, how much of a difference a shield will make, guys. Literally, just having that shield, being able to block that attack, made life a thousand times easier. An optimized build for this would probably be either this or the balder side shield or the balder shield. Uh, a bow, probably the black bow fairies to pull enemies and deal damage from a very long range. And uh, more than likely a pyromancy claim. Cover all your bases. It's like a jack of all trades, dexterity, amazing build. And dex and what is it? dexterity and magic synergize pretty well because uh, of a little thing that they do. You actually get to do more, um, you cast quicker if you've got 45 dexterity. I think I already, did I acronym already? Sounds like it. Sounds like he's coming. Yeah. So that works out. Why couldn't it happen like that last time? Because RNG. That's why. Oh yeah. Magic and Dex synergize really well to the point where you actually, if you get 45 dexterity, you will cast your spells twice as fast. And these guys are being really stingy with the Titanite chunks. Like seriously, you've got to be kidding me. circle stab so easy this is the proper way to farm dark wraiths honestly oh my god did you finally decide to drop one you thank you thank you one more this will be a plus 13 uh, let me go ahead and actually pop up two things it's gonna get this is that I knew it? Did I not just use the thing? Oh, I didn't. I guess they deaggered. No, you didn't deaggered. Takes me two hits to kill a ghost. That's crazy. I'm not doing any damage. Let's go ahead and get these two guys to explain. And let's open this up for an extra Titanite chunk. And that's 13. It's plus 13 now, yeah. I think we need like two or three more to get a plus 14. Building's a lot easier from ranged. <laughs> Come on. Don't slow walk at me, man. You've been watching P Peverson's PvP videos, man. Don't, don't slow walk at me. Don't do it. Ugh, stingy bastards. That's actually the boss of this zone, but there's no point in fighting him because I don't have what I need to fight him. I need the Covenant of Artorias. Yeah, nah, I'm good. Let me just over here. We'll walk very slowly. And stab. Stab again. That is chain backstabbing. Because we're pro players and we do that. <laughs> Alright, so there that guy's dead. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some more. There should be a couple more dark wraiths down here. Honestly, guys, you can pretty much just skip this video after seeing that one part. This is pretty much just going to be a farming video, and um, near the end, uh, if I have time, I'll show off where I got the covet the uh, covetous gold serpent ring. Hey, thank you. See, you guys noticed that? I was in the exact same spot, but as soon as I made that noise, he looked up and saw me. Yeah, and this game isn't that bad. I mean, it can be bad sometimes, but it's not, like, I guess enemy AI isn't bad. 
Summon enemy AI is bad. Summon AI, like ally AI, can be really bad. Don't slow walk. Freaking walk towards me. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Uh, if I can get two more, I know for a fact I've got enough. I don't know what that item is. I don't think I've ever gotten it before. Hey, you. Come on. Backstab. Backstab. Okay. Just drop, please. Please, please drop. I hate you. I hate you so much. Dude, he like, looks like he's in a push-up position. Like, fist down on the ground. And I kicked his other leg by that one. Yep, he's in a push-up position. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's great. Alright, there should be one more right here. Yeah. Come on, you. You can actually get the Dark Wraith's gear by joining the Dark Wraith Covenant. And, uh... So you can get their gear by joining their covenant. Oh! Don't try to steal my humanity, bro. I don't have any. Yeah, you join their covenant and you actually, uh... Sacrifice enough humanity to, uh... Darkstalker Kath. And he will give you their armor set. Along with their sword. And you also get their shield hand thing. Yeah. It's not terrible, but it actually has 80% across the board, so if you want a really good, uh, block everything shield, it's probably one of the best. Only problem is it's really bad at physical. I mean, it's only 80% physical block, but most people do physical damage. But, I mean, 80% magic block is not, is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, see, that's that wombo combo. If you get caught in that, it's GG right there. Watch, this guy's gonna drop a Titanite chunk, and I'll only have needed two, and this still will be a Titanite chunk here. Okay, no. Never mind. I'm shutting up now. <laughs> Let's walk over here, turn left. It'd be kinda nice to keep these souls, honestly. Why would you turn why would you turn around? Why would you why would you show your back to me? Why? I'm a scumbag. I'm gonna backstab you. That's what I do. Stop showing your back to me. Stop it. Next, you know, as soon as you actually finish the animation, man, you're supposed to roll. You immediately roll away. As soon as you stand up, you roll away. Keep him getting backstabbed again. See, I haven't been down here in so long. I don't even remember if there are any more items around here. Maybe the item up there had a, uh... was a Titanite chunk. Is there something back here? Oh, I feel like a Dark Souls thing to do is to put something over there. See, guys, you don't explore zones enough, and you start forgetting them. You start forgetting where their items are hidden. I didn't break those pots because I could see the shine, if there's a shine between them. Let's see here. Nah, nothing here. We'll go check the other side after that. We'll go ahead and homer bone away and get back to Andre's, uh, Andre's house and um, upgrade our weapon. Oh, what's this? Is this what I... Oh, it's humanity. Never mind. Not bad, but still. Not what I was looking for. Where does this go again? I don't know. Oh. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. That's how you get back up. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I never come this way. Like, ever. I, I, never, I never go that way. I just don't do it. I don't remember why. Well, here's an item. I don't remember what this item is. is are you a Titanite chunk? Can you be a Titanite chunk? No, you're a soul of a brave warrior. Okay. Well, guys, let's go ahead and head back. Hopefully, I have enough. And if I'm missing one, I'm going to be really upset and probably going to rage silently. Or, I mean, end the video and rage out loud. That works, too. So, homeward bone. Homeward bone. I've got to have one. Right? Okay, cool. I was like, come on now. Please, don't tell me I don't have any homeward bones. I don't want to fight my way out of here. Alright, back to Andre's place. Let's see if RNG was on our side today. RNG's place. Well, hello again. 
You seem to be doing all right. Of course. Need anything forged? Absolutely. Let's reinforce our weapon, please. All right. Of course, we need three. Well. Go get yourself, get neither. I'm raging, guys. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna level up, and then we're gonna cut it here. I'm gonna go get one more tiny head chunk, because basically, fuck me. <laughs> and uh, we'll pick it up from there. But let's see if uh, how many points of dex I can get out of this. One, two, three. I can get three points of dexterity out of this. So what we'll do is we'll put two points into dexterity and one point into vitality, because I hate seeing it at 19. <laughs> We'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. Yep, okay. So, that'll be our level up. Alright guys, I'm gonna go farm for that last one. Then we'll come back, do Sense Fortress, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Alright guys, but I will see you all in the next one. Peace guys.